Hello and welcome into Rose Field for Big League Wiffle Ball's 5th Annual World Series between the Pacific Panthers and Arctic Altitude right here from Rose Field. And today we'll begin a five game series, two of which being played today and the next three, of course four and five if necessary, being played tomorrow. But there's tons and tons of talent in this series. Uh, let's start with the Pacific Panthers, the hottest team in Big League Wiffle Ball right now. They have not lost a series since Slate 3 and they're led by their captain, former World Series champion and MVP, Carson Rose, who's just having one of the best postseasons in BLW history, alongside Logan Christie, who's been the ace for them so far this postseason, and Mason Ferris, the 2021 World Series champion, looking to make it to on his resume. But as for the altitude, they are led by Mike Tui, the number two overall pick in this year's draft, one of the top players in the entire country, uh, he's been dominant both pitching and hitting, and he'll have to carry the rock today and for the rest of the series as Jackson Blum, their other ace, is out with a foot injury. Uh, but as for Tui, he's expected to go all five games, and he'll be joined by Joey Jankowski and Brayden Lewis. Sean Green is expected to join us tomorrow for games three, and like I said, four and five if necessary. Uh, but I'm fascinated by this series. Let's get straight to the action. Player interviews start now. I'm here with Joey Jankowski, the Arctic Altitudes manager. This is your fifth year in Big League Wolf Ball. Uh, you were one of the founding members, and here you are in your first World Series. How have you been preparing? And what's the game plan here in game one? Oh, uh, you know, very excited. Uh, our game plan, we have Tui on the mound, and our batting order is going to be me, Tui, and Braden Lewis to start off today. All right, good luck. Thank you very much. Now I'm joined by Carson Rose of the Pacific Panthers. This is your third World Series. You're seeking your second championship. Uh, how's this different from the others you've been a part of and uh, what's the plan today? Um, I wouldn't say it's any different, you know, same mindset, just go win. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to go up there, jump on them early. We're away the first two games, so we're going to get a hot start and ride that. Cool. Game one starts now. All right, here we go. Big League Wiffle Balls World Series Game one between the Pacific Panthers and Arctic Altitude. The Arctic Altitude's first appearance in the World Series following their first playoff series win. Down low looks at ball four at 72. And Carson Rose leads the game off with a walk. This Panthers lineup has been one of the toughest if not the toughest in Big League Wolf. Grounds it to the left side. Tui trying to go to second. Was Jankowski on the base? I think he was. Oh, he was not. Good sportsmanship from Tui. Safe at second. And the Panthers are threatening early. Runners on first and second and nobody out. Rose on second. Christie at first. Oh, and that's strike three. Great location from Mike Tui. And Rose put one in play right here. Oh, great pitch from Mike Tui. 2-0 now. Christie up the middle. Past Jankowski. We got a collision. And I believe we're going to have... We're going to have a review right here for interference. After review, the call on the field is overturned. Mason Ferris is ruled safe at third. Big League Wiffle Ball with some unique rules here. The runner can plow through the fielder as seen in our rule book. So the bases are now loaded for Ferris. He's behind a 4-0 count right here. Ferris up the middle, swings at a 4-0 pitch, and that will do it for the inning. He put some damage on that one, but the Panthers cannot scratch across a run. We go to the bottom of the first. 0-0 zero, zero is our score. Nice pitch from Christie. Paints the outside corner. One away here in the first. And here comes the dangerous Mike Tui. Nice pitch, and that's going to spin fair. 
Good spot. Tui did a good job to put a barrel on it. And a big spot early on. And he looks at strike three. Good location. Ahead in the count. Downstairs. Good location. And that will do it for the first. Zeroes across the board. The Panthers threaten the altitude. Get a base runner. But at the end of the day, the score is 0-0 zero to zero, headed to the second. Nice pitch. Rose is going to try to beat it out, and we are going to go to review. It's out on the field. But we're going to look at it right now. We've got a good camera angle. We'll determine after review. All right, after review, uh, the ruling on the field is safe at first. The call's been overturned. That's ball four. That's ball five. Two two now to Ferris. Oh, and he got him on a 62 mile an hour riser. Good pitch from two. He continues to change speeds. Two on. Oh, and he got him to chase. Good job from Tui. Tui trying to get out of yet another jam. And that is a great pitch from the rookie. Once again, the Panthers reach on the first two, but Tui strikes out the side. See what he does here. Tough matchup for any pitcher, and that ball is destroyed. That ball is gone. We'll see if Christie learns his lesson. That was not even a bad pitch, but Tui just absolutely annihilated it, and the altitude have an early 1-0 lead here in game one. Oh, the call of the week. Yeah, the call of the week. <laughs> oh, man, that's so funny. And that's strike three to Braden Lewis. From two to Jankowski. And that's strike three. Chase is one upstairs. They're going to intentionally walk Mike Tui. And that's another strikeout for Logan Christie. He's got six on the day. But not without a home run from Mike Tui. And here we go. The Panthers need one or else the Altitude are going to take a 1-0 lead here in the Big League Wiffle Ball World Series. Mason Ferris looking to get on base. Help his team out. Goes to the drop ball. Rose has battled all day long. He's got one hit here in game one. Reached on a walk as well. Biggest at bat of the game, of the series, possibly of the season. Oh, and he got him to chase. Rose visibly frustrated. Two outs now to Logan Christie. Oh, and he got him. Strike three to Logan Christie. Tui. Throws a shutout, captures game one, and the altitude take a one to nothing series lead here as we head to game two.